Hey, what's up guys? It's Joe here. Uh, today I'm going to show you how I would normally um, clean, prep, glue, mount, and bounce RC tires. Um, so one of the things that you do before, um, you know, go ahead and put the insert in and, and, and put it on the wheel and mounting them. Um, you yeah, give it a little bath with like dish detergent. Making sure you're using the ones without the lotion, just the regular dish detergent. So make sure you clean them off, uh, let them dry properly. Uh, this way, it will be uh, you know have perfect contact for the uh, the glue to uh, do its job. Another task uh, before cleaning the tire is to check the um, the beads of each tire. Um, a lot of time when they get get off the mold, the uh, the edges on on the inside, the beads they don't really. Um, well, I would say they still have like the residuals of the mold so you make sure you want to go around and, and clean them up you can most of the time just pull them off with the finger or you can use a pair of uh, lax and scissors and uh, cut them off all right so i got all four tires cleaned up and dry uh ear dry by the way you have to let them air dry don't try to dry them with the uh, paper towel because that would leave uh, residuals behind um, but anyway, I mean, if you look at the outside of the tire, they're not perfectly clean on the outside. Um, these these residuals are they're not really uh, coming off that easy. But what matters to me is that the beads inside. I, I, I make sure that the beads inside are clean. So um, that's when they they'll be making contact with the wheel. So as long as they're clean, I'm happy. Uh, one of the things I noticed uh, with these tires. I would call them defects or the quality. It's not that great. These are these are slick tires, um, HPI uh, slicks that are belted. Uh, these are the part number on it. So let me see if you can see it. Why I get so upset? It's because of this. Let me show you one of these tires. If you yeah, flip it inside out, so if you look at the uh, the belt inside, you rotate them slowly. You notice this belt it's going sideways it's not perfectly straight so when it so what happens with a tire that are uh, with the belt going sideways it's gonna make the tire unbalanced like very bad um, it's gonna need a lot of work on uh, balancing these tires so I mean I'm, it is what it is I'm stuck with it I'm not gonna send it back I'm not do my best to try to balance these tires but you can imagine when this tire starts spinning, there are parts of the tire that want to balloon, and then there are parts of the tire that are heavier, so it's gonna make the tire wiggle. It's gonna shake like that. So that's what I'm upset about, uh, but I think it's only two of them that have this defect, or the quality of the tire is not that great. But I can, I can live with that. I can uh, make it balanced out using the, uh, the balanced weight, but I'm just, it is what it is, right? So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and get them mounted the insert in the wheel and, together. Uh, here's how you would do it: just fold the uh, the insert and put it in there. I'm just gonna wiggle it, wiggle it, and wick wick way around. To and that's it. I'm gonna put the wheels in it. And to make sure you stretch the the tires a little bit, you don't want to just push in because that's gonna mess. That's gonna push the, uh, the insert out of the bead. Uh, for these on road tires, it's very important that the uh, the insert stays, um, you know, in between the uh, the tires and the beads. And this way, they'll they'll help to keep them more balanced. It's it's gonna sit fairly good. So on both sides, good. All right, and before you start putting the glue on it, um, I would usually use a tool. This is a letter opener. Uh, I, I use it as a tool to help me, um, you know, poke the tire and so that I don't get the glue on my hand if it uh, gets overspill. Um, and the way you want to apply the glue is, you know, you pull it out and give it a big drop. Um, and if you overdo it and get it spilled out there, don't even try to fix it. There's no way of doing that. If you, the, the more that you're trying to fix it, um, it's going to make it worse. So if, it, if you overdo it, just let it be. Uh, that's the best you can get. Um, and I would usually start off um, in the back side. 
or the inside of the tire because this way I can get a good feeling of how the tire is going to um, to feel and and I can get a feeling of how much glue to put in and this way um, you know I'll get practice on one side when I do it on the outside I can do a little bit better so that you know the appearance of the, the glue job will look a lot better you can mess up on the inside no one's gonna see it so um, so let's get started I'm gonna pull the rubber band to the this side a little bit more um, this way keeps a little bit more squeezing force Now when you're applying for it, notice there is a uh, extra that got squeezed out from the side and that's okay. We're going to fix it in a little bit. But for now, we're going to finish gluing the tire all around. So once you finish gluing it, you can pick it up and let the excess glue kind of run through it and this way it's going to give it a better finish instead of uh, extra drops that are squeezed out. So uh, just hold it on the side. It's going to allow the glue to uh, run around. I'm not sure you can see it in the camera, but, uh, but the glue is actually walking around the uh, tire. And that's what will give it a, uh, a more even finish when it's finally dry. This is an on-road tire, so there's not a lot of room. Uh, if it was a buggy tire or a short course tire, um, the glue will be uh, actually walking quite well. And then when it's finished, it will actually look pretty good. So now you can see the glue almost finished walking around one circle. That's going to give it a... Um, I'm just shaking a little bit. It's gonna give it a, a, a okay finish, so it's not perfect. But um, if you let it dry, don't touch it now. You, you see there's glue that are overspilled, but that's okay. This is the inside of the tire. Um, I was putting putting in uh, dropped a little bit too big, so um, when I do the outside, I know that I don't have to do you know put in that that big of a drop. So I'm uh, I'm gonna do another one on the, uh, the inside of the wheel on camera I'll see if I can get better this time for this wheel I mean uh, the first one I put in was a little bit too much of a drop so I'm um, just trying to do it with a little bit less this time okay. alright so if you give it a little bit squeeze I'm sorry to try to get off camera a little bit more now if you compare it, um, this one actually the glue were uh, drop into the bead and they were squeezed back out and this way it's got a, a bonding that's instant, instant inside the bead and the wheel. Now if you compare it to the first one, uh, this is the first one I did. It's drying halfway now. You can see there's a lot of uh, glue that, were, um, that I put in as too much but the, uh, the second one that I'm doing it's much better already as I get a practice on the first one so the second one I'm doing it 
I can get a better hang of uh, you know how I how much I can put in to make it look All right, good. So this is the uh, first tire. Now it's dried up. Um, it doesn't look too bad all around. So uh, it may look pretty bad on the camera, but in fact, it's not really that bad. So I'm gonna work on the other side. Um, and then once you know this one is finished, and I'll work on the other ones. And then uh, once they, I'll let them dry for a little time. And then we're gonna go on to uh, the balancing them. Alright, so that's all set. I'll let it dry. Alright guys, so I let the tire uh, set there for a couple hours. The glue have dried up by now. Um, you can see this is the first tire that I worked on. This is the inside of the wheel. Uh, it's got extra glue um, in all around the place. But it doesn't look too bad anyway. This is the outside. Uh, bonding is perfect. There is extra glue on the outside. But once you give it a couple run, uh, they should go away. Um, so next up, I'm going to put it on the balancer and balance this tire. And this is the tire that has the, uh, the belt that, that's very um, straight inside. Unlike these tires with the yellow uh, rubber band on, these are ones that I marked uh, because they, um, they have the belt going sideways. So they, they'll be uh, very badly out of balance. So I'm going to put it on this balancer and then balance it really quick. And I'm going to move on to do a second one. And uh, one more note, if you think this is, um, it looks familiar, because it does. That's a slash bumper and a camber links and a uh, steering block. So I made this tire balancer out of uh, spare parts. So I'm gonna just get it mounted on here and give it a couple spin and see which side goes on the bottom and then it'll be the heavy side. And then uh, I can get, put some weight on the opposite direction. This way we'll uh, be able to balance it. I'm gonna make a mark for the bottom. So I'll give it a spin. So now this is where we think it's gonna be the heaviest part of the wheel. Yeah, it's not too bad, so I'm gonna give it a small piece. On the opposite side. Just give it another spin. That doesn't look too bad. So now you can see the um, The wheel will stop spinning um, at pretty much anywhere now. Very random in fashion. A, in a, just gonna make press it hard on it. Yeah, initially I didn't press it very hard because you know in case I have to make adjustment, I can always get it um, pull it out and make trims. But now I know this is the place to put it. I can um, you know make it permanent by just pressing it hard. So there you have it. The first wheel is balanced now. Give it a couple of spin. Uh, it's pretty good. It's wiggling because I think the the, the screw pop loose. Yeah. Alright, yeah, that's that looks pretty good. I'll uh, I'll take that. So I'm gonna get uh, the next wheel. This is the one that is gonna be um, a little bit more out of balance. 
and I'm gonna hook it up. Alright guys, so I have the uh, the tire with the yellow rubber band on the balancer now. Uh, this one is one of the tires that has the uh, the belt going sideways, so it's a little bit more out of balance. And I can imagine it would take me a little bit longer to, uh, to get it balanced out. Uh, just to show you how much out of balance it is, I can give it a quick spin and you're gonna see what happens. So we're gonna do that right now. So I gave it a quick spin and you can see the whole thing is vibrating. It is vibrating so much that the uh, the balancer is kind of dancing on the table here. So I'm going to let it stop, make a marker and mark the, uh, the heavy part of the wheel. And then I'll apply some uh, weight to the opposite side. And hopefully we can get it balanced out quickly uh, without having to try too many times. So it's about right here. So the blue tape returns to the bottom again. If you put it to the top, it still goes back to the bottom. So because it's a little bit more out of balance, I'm, I cut up a little um, bigger piece of lead tape. I'm going to apply it directly on the opposite side. So uh, it looks like it's improving. Doesn't look like it's enough, but uh, I'm gonna have to give it a, a quick spin to see how um, how much it has improved. So I'm gonna give it a quick spin. So now you can see it's still vibrating a little bit, but it's not dancing anymore. Uh, this is much better than uh, than what we begin uh, without that little bit of blood tape in there. But it's still not perfectly balanced yet. We're gonna have to find out whether or not we put in too much or too little. So I'm gonna stop that from spinning. Spread that piece a little bit more wider. Not enough. This one is a little bit too much. Okay. Yeah, so I think this time I got it right. Um, I mean, I didn't say it perfectly right, but it's much better. It's not dancing by itself anymore. So, um, so I think I'm gonna stop here, and then next thing I'll be trying it. Once I get the car up and running, I'll be trying and see how it runs in the car. So thank you guys for watching. If you liked the video, please comment, subscribe, um, and uh, I'll see you next time.